Episode 3. Welcome to the Falls. They call me Matthew Christian. And kama kawaida on to my left a destitute um just help me find just or, or even find one word that can diminish somebody today. <laughs> I feel like destitute is enough. It destitute does, is does, enough. It does more than <laughs> okay, on to my life. The destitute um, Mr. Ocholi. Actually, that's not my stage name. What's wrong with you? Okay, what's your stage name? Leon, aka. AKA we said we're not saying AKA. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you happy with your AKA. Yeah, okay. We, we talked about the AKA, but I'm going to use my AKA. I, I don't care. Okay, you I'm, can't. I'm probably the only one allowed to use AKA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you can call me Leo. <laughs> okay. The I, bad child. All right, my name is Charles Ikedo. Uh, that's 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 more like Thank it. Mm -hmm. Let's see another AK. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Emmanuel. AK General Zod. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> General Zod in the building. I've, I've actually I've never I've never um, had people with weird AKAs like <laughs> like you. Somebody's calling himself a bad child. Bad child. Bad <laughs> child. <laughs> well, uh, calling yourself bad child doesn't mean he's a bad child. Yeah, 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 it doesn't necessarily mean bad. <coughs> just uh, a nickname. Maybe nigga cannot even scare a rat. Uh, thank you. So, <laughs> you see, he's just saying that. So, somebody hear the name and we feel like, ah, this guy is bad. Let me just yeah. stay uh -huh. away from him. It's just uh -huh. like uh, you see police people, police posts. Yeah. You see um, a native doctor, native doctor. You see um, uh, a place where they said, uh, don't urinate here. Yeah. Simple. They will say, don't urinate here, uh -huh. like native doctor. You'll be afraid. <laughs> so I believe that is what he's trying to put on. With but you his, see, uh, you should look for an AKA that is synonymous to... No, 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 no. Uh, you know, it's synonymous to, you know, something that you're close to. Mm -hmm. Or probably, you know, a character that you easily can switch to or identify with. So the, the same so, way you're, like Matthew, you're close to, let's say, bananas. It's like Matthew, <laughs> AKA, bananas. No, I'm not close to bananas, bro. Eh? No, All no. Right. Then that's why I don't have an AKA. Yours is Matthew, Matt. Yes, Matt. Matt could be my AK. Either way, uh, now that we're done with that, welcome to another episode of um, The Falls. Uh, we come to you live on our Facebook, on our Instagram, and on our YouTube at The Falls. Make sure you keep on subscribing to our YouTube channel and watch previous episodes. And we have plenty much more coming in the coming days. Straight to the business of the day, the post birthday boy. This guy actually he did not. He yeah, did, we're putting it out there. Leon did not do anything. He did not do birthday. anything <laughs> for he his birthday. Did not do anything. He did not live up to his reputation as being the bad guy. He didn't <laughs> Surely. do shit. <laughs> he didn't do shit. I didn't, I want to tell you. I'm going to put you on the spotlight today. <laughs> you did not do anything. It's not about even so doing anything. So disregard the bad guy no. thing. He just talk. <laughs> he just talk. No action. It's not. A, it's not just about didn't do anything. Come on, Konyangi. <laughs> you know. Surely. At least when we finished, he would have at least said, "Okay, guys, let's just share Konyangi 200." And he had the iPhone tree. To say to I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still no, I'm still collecting gifts. That's Imagine. what. That's <laughs> what you <he> said. <laughs> now this is the problem. I'm <laughs> you see, uh, I've lived in uh, Europe. I've lived in Belgium, Spain, uh, England. Oh I've my also god! Lived in the US. Oh my god! So what happens in uh, Europe and uh, in the US when it's your birthday? This is when you know your true friends <laughs> because you receive gifts. Uh, you people spend money on you. But there is a problem about Africa <laughs> and Africans. Where you are put to be from? Where it's <laughs> the reverse. So people think when it's your birthday, you need to spoil them. Okay, Matthew, what did you buy me for my birthday? I didn't buy you shit. Then, then you want my uh, alcohol? No, no. But yeah. you see, you have to call us so that we feel indebted, you know, to 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 be buying you some things or giving you something. Should, 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 why would you? Why would? Why would we buy you? It's an African thing. China I mean, says yeah. the best in things for that part. He says, when when a man invites his fellow man to come and dine and eat, it is not that 
those men don't have food in their house yes. or, or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just the old joy, the celebration that comes with, the pleasure mm-hmm. that comes with celebrating mm-hmm. with your, your past. But so, I'm still receiving gifts. You know, I've received a lot of stuff from my, from my network. Con- and your concubines as, 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 as well. Uh, my wife will skin you. <laughs> 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 the truth will out huh? one day but it's it's still uh, it's still december so people are still uh, it's still we still have we still have I mean, how many days to clock january 2022 around two weeks no three i think three three weeks so next next week is christmas next week is not christmas it is christmas on no, sunday no not next week uh, when is it in? supposed to be the week after next week oh the week after next yeah. week is yeah. christmas yeah so we have around like three weeks to go <coughs> yeah uh, the party has just started so guys uh please feel free to invite me in kitengela i was able to get, i'll come to your place if you <laughs> <laughs> leon, we, leon, leon you really owe us an apology we yeah. bust our we actually bust our nuts here singing for you and it would have been nice if we went out and we recorded showed you us what, what it was like you know, exactly yeah. but uh, this is this is not my reason why i didn't celebrate my birthday i had to travel down to kakamega kakamega is in western kenya 400 kilometers from nairobi yeah so i had an emergency there mm-hmm. and uh that was uh we met on wednesday i was there on thursday i was getting to kakamega at uh, 1 p.m and uh i was there i came back on sunday so i was uh, res- uh, resolving some uh, land issues you see us guys from western kenya we are very attached to our land not as not as attached to uh, as as the Igbo man as the as the Igbo man Igbo man the <laughs> Igbo man is yeah, attached man, to yeah. land as well ah oh, okay yeah for, for us like uh, inheritance like for me i can't sell my inheritance but i have to get it yeah so we were doing uh, we were actually uh, tighten the mm. we are we were actually uh, s- uh, settling uh, some land issues back in the village but i'm back now now we can postpone this birthday to this weekend catch me live at club you know we have a new club here along gong road i know casavera casavera i saw you there though yes i saw you there i was there so now you guys had a very wonderful weekend yeah it's uh, casavera is uh, is lit i was uh, i came on sunday and i was there on sunday with my uh, my other friends okay it's a good setup uh uh it's a good space I they think, have very I, good food i think they have to pay us for advertising on their behalf because <laughs> now you are you are doing yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not that it's not that great till then it's not that great <laughs> but it's a good thing when you guys check it out when they do the need food then we'll, we'll talk about how great it is till then it's, uh, the gospel then is just, spread <laughs> and they look till for then us. it's just grapevine it's just great by yeah i'm but, interested in the land stuff yeah was it a family thing or yes family thing because for us our ancestral land we have stayed here from my great grandparents uh so it's a close knitted community yeah uh, my uncles my cousins my step cousins if we have step cousins okay so uh, what happens is uh, for us when you attain ad- adulthood okay and uh, you're ready to make decisions uh, and approaching a marriage uh-huh. your father has to cut you a piece of land even when he's alive Yes, whether dead or alive, you are still entitled to. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, in certain parts, the man has to. You, I can't talk about land, uh-huh. my father's property, uh-huh. if he's still alive. For you, I mean, in where I come from, I, I, Charles, right? You can't really talk about right. sharing properties. Act- actually, you don't share properties, but if you if you are up to the age of marriage and decision, as he has said, okay. in the Igbo land, uh-huh. and uh, you come to your father, Daddy, I am ready. Can I have a piece of land to mm-hmm. build? To build, okay, okay. You can be given. Okay. But coming to say that, share your land while he's still alive, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is not it's possible. Attractive. Imagine that's what we do here. Before you, the old man um, retires, or you know, before he dies, you're supposed to. He's supposed to allocate you your property. Uh-huh. So sharing, sharing. Wow. Before he dies. Otherwise, when if he dies, then who's gonna give out the land? Because you see, it's ancestral land. Um, the, the, usually it happens with the elders in the in the in the, in the family. Of course, the, there is an elder. In There's the an family. elder in the family. But that's supposed to be that's supposed to be like biased already because the eldest son or something. 
uh, were not necessarily this child. I mean, their uncles, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah. older uncles and whatever that do this stuff. And well, sharing the land favors the elders. But they're bound. Naturally. But they're bound to be biased. But what I ha- feel, what, what, I feel what, what the I old Mose is the one who's what supposed I say to do that the thing. What happens is that uh, those Mose, yeah, they have their portions which they have been given to. Like let's assume now, four of us yeah. are from the same parents. Yeah. So our parent before he died has already allocated us our own portions. Uh-huh. So now when you give birth to your own children, yeah. They take from your portion, not from the general from portion. The ge- from the general. But there is, if you have much land, there is also a place where you can have a big land. Yeah. Where the whole land is for the whole family. Okay. So okay. when family the, house, family house, and something like that. So when the children are growing, if you, you can say you want to attach something and attach and attach and attach, it became a big compound. Yeah. But the farming, farm, there are also other farmlands, and that you can do also. <coughs> If paraventure before your dad or your mom or whoever that is in charge of the land mm-hmm. happens to die, or before he dies, mm-hmm. he 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 had some debt, he has some lands which he has used to as a collateral mm-hmm. yeah. to collect money from some people. If a woman who is married to that family happens to know about it and goes to their people that he's indebted to and give them that money that the father the the man have that the man owes and give them the money they yeah. will give him they will give the woman back the land the land is no longer family land it's now that woman's land and her sons yes i think it's all, almost similar to what happens here because uh the same thing uh land is shared equally between uh brothers for, for us uh, we uh, we have equally to, equally three brothers Yeah, I'm the first I'm uh, the first born. So uh the land will be subdivided equally okay. to all the brothers, but the younger brother will remain in the main home. Okay. So uh sort of to take care of uh, yeah, to take care of the parents yeah. uh okay. once uh, when they're growing old. Yeah. But to me the the first born I'll be given land uh a bit far from the main home. Okay. Then the second born, then the third born. So the younger you are, the closest you are to the main home. Oh, okay. So same thing the same thing will happen to my sons. But you see right now uh I think I, I don't know if it's in, everywhere but I think we are running uh we are moving we are shifting away from the land issue because we are running out of space. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There is no longer like land to do those things and subdivisions and all that. Mm-hmm. Probably and, and people are selling now. People, yeah, people, people. For us, you can't sell inheritance. Once you sell in- inheritance, you're cast. <laughs> and because well, remember, you're selling graves of your forefathers. Let me. They were buried there. Us, me, we can't sell inheritance. But let me ask you: mm-hmm. Do you think curses work? They do work. Oh really? I think people just become unfortunate and decide to. Me, I don't think curses work. I if don't you, believe. If, if I you, don't if, believe in witchcrafty. I don't believe. But in, you believe in Christ. You believe in God. I believe in God. I mean if you believe in God and if you believe these other things uh, uh, no. this and, evil and, spirits and do exist. You believe in the Bible, right? Be- <laughs> I believe in the Bible. What, so what do you say concerning the curses that were laid upon some individuals in the Bible by the prophets? Yeah, he makes a point. There 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 the, the, there are some things in the Bible that are honestly I also don't believe in. <laughs> But you see like you say okay now you're no, being, I'm just being honest. Uh, if I'm, you believe I'm in the Bible, honest. you also need to believe in the evil out here. Yes, you have to believe. Because the Bible is against the evil happenings. Like they say there is Satan. So you believe there is Satan, right? I believe there is Satan. Okay. Uh-huh, so I mean, <laughs> but, so all but, this... but, but I don't like the fact that we have attributed or it feels like we're going to be attributing a cultural traditional religion to satanic but you see uh, what happens in uh, the traditional african society yeah. there are some things we also need to uphold yeah uh, going forward mm-hmm. like uh, there's things so even before we received this christ our forefathers had their own tradition like circumcision is part of the culture yeah like for me uh, my son, yeah my son has to be circumcised when maybe he attains the age of six or five Okay. It no longer even becomes a traditional thing again. It's now uh, even a health yeah, concern yeah, that yeah, needs yeah, to yeah. be addressed. Marrying you can't marry your cousin. 
Mm-hmm. For us, for example, you marry your sister, mm-hmm. Africans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They say that even even let alone marrying your like I know even you can relate like we have a clan in our village. Mm-hmm. Or oh, you cannot marry from your clan. You can't marry from that clan. It, happen, okay. yeah, it happens also in our place. In your place, you can't. You can't even dare to have anything sexually related or anything, and you can't even fight to the point that you remove blood. Okay. Each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. You must not allow the sun to come down. Two of you have to drink one glass of water, a dead sort mm-hmm. on it. To sort of squash it. Kind of squash That's it. when blood okay. comes out. When blood comes out. Okay. In, so, our, in our place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in most part of Ibo land. You can't fight with your umuna, your 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 brother. Yes. Okay. Like for me, I know there are some things even going forward, uh, years to come. My family has to. They have to respect that tradition. Like for me, you can't bury me at the cemetery. Really? No, you can't. Okay. Have you witnessed any repercussion to someone who went against uh, against uh, that? Uh, I haven't, but in our family, no one has ever been buried in the cemetery. So you le- you can't bury me there. So you, you have to have take me to my grave. land. You have a very big la- uh, large graveyard. Or- yes. And Actually, you, you have to bury me in front of my house. Yes, even in now. front. This is my main house. In front, so that I can face the main door. Yeah. You can't bury me at the side near the bananas or near the sugar cane. Or behind the is toilet. There, or behind the toilet. <laughs> there, I, mean, I, I understand what you're saying. A lot of people want to be buried in their ancestral, uh-huh. whatever. But is there any specific <coughs> consequence if you do a guest? If you do a guest. For me, I think there is no consequence. But for me personally, my reason is I want my legacy to live on. To live on. When my grandkids, when my great grandkids. They are able to trace where their grandfather, their father was buried. Oh, so it's a personal thing. If you take me here to Langata, I'm buried here. Someone is buried on top of me. <laughs> How will I sleep in oh, peace? Oh, by the way, yeah. I noticed that. I was watching our documentary and then I realized um, there are two types of, I don't know whether it happens at your place, but there are two types of uh, graves. There is a permanent one and there is a temporary one. Uh-huh. So the permanent ones, are those ones when you pass through Langata, you'll see uh, very well fenced, you know, mm-hmm. looks mm-hmm. really presentable. And when you go deeper into the cemetery, there is... Um, it's everywhere, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there is a temporal one. So what happens with the temporal uh, grave is you're buried, it's like shallow or deep. You're buried on top of someone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So some, pass, some people were buried below let's say like six feet then now you because yours is is a temporal and the the prices and the cost is yeah, it's, different it's, it's more of economic yeah uh, because so you'll be buried on top of someone i found that very weird it hosts everyone when thieves uh uncollected bodies from the morgues uh guys who cannot be guys who family whose families cannot be traced okay where are they buried mm-hmm. you can't you can't be given a honor a honorable send-off so they just bury you onto someone, and for me that I won't sleep there. <laughs> I can't. I'll I'll but, I'll, I'll come for my but, kids. But, but to be frank, let's be honest. Huh. I mean, does it matter? For me, it matters. No, I mean, it does matter. For me, uh, it can pass- I, it matters. Can matter. I ask one question? Yeah. My yeah. question: uh, You say you can't sleep there. When a man dies, what do you think? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Does it really, really, in the real sense of the word, does it matter? A man is dead <laughs> or a woman is dead right now. What really? What matters? does it matter? What's what's it? I want a good send off. A good send off of who? For and who is seeing the send off? My family, and that's why I'm working and hard. And you, that is being buried, you are, your body is lifeless. In hell. Listen, for me, I'm working hard. So I'm not working hard only for my kids. I'm also working hard for my burial. That's why I'm looking for. But that's what I was saying. Does it really matter? Like for me, it matters. Okay, now you I, have to I, put I, me I in a good cup, house. I give you this cup of something to drink, and you can feel you get that instant gratification. You can test. You have that joy that you have to, but when you die, you 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 can't even feel any worldly any worldly activity no, 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 or no, no, stuff. No. They have to I slaughter. Mean, like to they have to slaughter anywhere. five bulls. Uh, I will have a lot of alcohol if you attend no, my true. funeral. It's true. But does it really believe really, to you as a as uh, as a matters. source or as an energy or whatever you become? No, when I was, you die? Does I, it matter? I, w- I was sharing um, uh, with someone. I think yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay. I was telling them I already have my funeral expense. I took there's this cover, 
an insurance cover that caters for your funeral expenses and uh, uh, you know you okay what's the problem Emmanuel <laughs> okay here's the thing <laughs> we have we have a funeral um, expense cover it's by i don't know whether i can say them no i think they'll pay us next time after they pay us i'll say their name okay. so this particular insurance company gives um gives you you pay uh, it's it's 7000 in a year 7500 and something in a year and by paying that premium you know your um, has the has that is going to you know take you wherever you're going to be buried to kissy to kissy for for my case mm-hmm. and then you will know the coffin they'll show you they'll physically show you this is what probably uh, or something close to this yeah, how much will it cost like and for me you can't put me in a coffin that will cost 10000 <laughs> surely I thought, is, i thought you said your package is 7000 no it, no that's, pay, yeah. it's it's an insurance okay, yeah okay. it's a cover that will okay, mature okay, okay. Oh, think, mm. sorry, yeah that. that will mature upon your death okay okay So uh, the, it gets that this is sound right <laughs> it's not <laughs> it, so gory like at your death <laughs> yeah oh, it gets us for your coffin they actually a good coffin show you fi- a physical coffin it's something like this if you want you can take pictures and whatever share with people who you want to share with but this is how it's going to look two the has for me it, it's going to be a mercedes When it, I it, it gives me it Georgia gives me money. gratification Big, to yeah. have those expenses of mine covered mine and three and the last one and the last one um is um 250,000 Kenyan shillings for funeral expenses you know why you know why i'm not going to say anything bad even mm-hmm. though i don't necessarily agree with this take is yeah. that one yeah i think the joy for you comes with the thrill of knowing you know there's this thrill that of knowing this is what it will look like if i go Yeah. Secondly, I like the fact that you're not going to be putting that body on 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 on, on, on we family that, we and family, yeah, we do that a lot where we put the whole yeah. body on on yeah. so that's why I'm not really going to say anything but I I, I like the idea. I'm, yeah. Uh-huh. I like the idea. I'm surprised none of you want cremation. None of you want. No, to. for me you can you can't ban me. Me I can't. You can't. You can't. It's it's painful. It's painful. You guys, you guys it's painful. How will you feel no, you no, won't no, feel no, anything? No, <laughs> you know no, it's no, painful. No, no. Can you try burn yourself with a lighter? How can how, how can my how, how, how can my D burn to ashes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to Have you ever been to the mortuary? Hmm? Have you ever been to the mortuary? I've been there twice. Have you seen the way they handle bodies? Depends which mortuary. Now, that's the, if if you're poor, they will handle you in a very bad way. Sorry, this is a very very spooky episode. Though. Like listen, <laughs> listen, for example, here in Kenya, uh in Nairobi. Yeah. One of the best mortuaries to go, they have we have Lee Funeral Home. We have Umash, we have Mona Lisa and Montezuma, but if you're taken to the city mortuary, do you want do you, do you want them to handle you the right way? They never. <laughs> They'll even push they you the You know even the way they wash your bones you're like oh, <laughs> they slap you. They do, they say, oh, no. no, this guy is <laughs> weird. Why would they slap you? Because someone is on a shift and he has like 70 bodies. So is is the slapping necessary really? <laughs> You never worry that you they, they play with your pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> look at what is look at look, eh. look at what is there. Right? This guy this man <laughs> he, he died when he was hard. They have to break it so that it <laughs> levels. You know it has it yes, has yeah, no, funny. Yeah, true. Yeah, it it happens. No. And, and, and no, yeah. There are people who medically or scientifically Can you die? Can you, Yeah, the people are, who, they have died when they well, hard. No, no, sorry. Even scientifically it's possible to have one last in quote erection, erection when you die. Oh no. I'm serious. Wait. I'm serious. You fast. Like it has to be like this? Yes. You wait for your erection when you die. You will feel I'm it. I'm serious. As you will feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really I'm serious. <laughs> Me I can't deal with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with you guys. You're very weird. I'm serious. That's you can eat it up. You can oh, have really? one last erection. The yeah. only thing I know is that when someone has died, yeah. the dead cells them they'll continue, you know, manifesting themselves or growing in your body which would be your hair will still continue growing yeah yeah your nails yes yeah, grow will, yeah. will will still continue growing will grow. and i i think before they come and you know collect your body that guy has got an obligation to cut your nails yeah, yeah. and you know shave your hair because yes, yes. it will still continue it will still grow, growing yeah. but i don't understand where 
Why? Because to have an erection, it means blood has to it, circulate, it, it circulates, yeah, to to the penis or whatever. I, I, there's a scientific explanation. I feel like we need somebody who is much more, but it does. Not everybody, but one last. Yes. It just, it I'm, just I'm graduating with my degree in medical pathology. Actually, so, we, we 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 will we will bring in we will yeah, we'll a pathologist. Bring, I'm well, serious. You, you get you uh, fat also, but it's not in it's not fat in the sense of the word. Just gas going. Going out of the it's or trying, just to a escape, co- it, it, trying to escape. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying it's just a coincidence that my cousin just walked in, who's a medica. She, we'll bring her in, we'll slot her in for a second to explain to us really how this thing yeah, goes for works. the sake of our viewers. Our viewers yeah. And we see how it, it's going to go, but we'll call her as uh, time goes. So we agree on everything except <laughs> the fact that Matthew is going to die with an erection ah, and it's going to remain like that. I mean, it means he died. No, but they have, they, have to, they have to level it. So they'll just... <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> yeah. But it's bone, it's Come on, it's boneless, Ben. Huh? Just call. Uh, there's, I think there is no. a lady on the reception. <laughs> but you see, you know, but the, you know, uh, as Africans, uh, I think there are some things we need Care to. for someone. We need to. Could we, be. we need to uphold, and uh, our culture. Oh no, yeah. our culture is very unique. But you know, cu- mm. culture is culture evolves. Culture mm. changes; it doesn't stay in one but, place. But there's some things that don't change. No, cu- culture has to change. Mm-hmm. You think it doesn't, but it will. Mm-hmm. It might take another form, mm-hmm. but it will change. It's not stagnant; it's dynamic. It mm-hmm. changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, for instance, the if you if you if you were to travel two hundred years to your land, mm-hmm. the people there would even consider you a foreigner mm-hmm. because it has changed. It has taken a new form. But if, I to, if, I, if I were to go back to uh, uh, Igbo land, mm. sorry, mm. If, I were, if I were to go back to Igbo land 300 years back and I, I, I speak my Igbo, the Igbos there in that time were like, where are you from? What kind of language is this? But there are small That's things it. that will still need you together. Like for me, when I go to the village, I don't take this uh, Gilby so what. I go traditional. Which is Changa. The traditional. Yeah, just say blue. you take Changa, my friend. No, you know, Changa is not traditional. Changa is not traditional. Which one is traditional? Busa. Changa is an after product of Busa. Right? Okay. Yeah. So they have this this one, you share one pot. Oh, okay. okay. You know, Changa is modern because we have a form of distillation or the distillation going through there. And some so additives it, yes. as well. It's 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 just a scientific pro, uh, process for you to get Changa. But there's something called Busa. You have one pot with the straws. Do you guys drink pan wine? Yeah. They don't oh, have palm. No, with us we don't have. There is palm wine in Mombasa. But us we though. use bananas. That is banana wine. wine. How does it work? We extract that wine is, from banana. That is, uh, how does it work? Yeah? Like there is how does it work? Between, there are two different types of palm wine. Okay. There is there is the other palm wine that comes from the same it's called palm trees. Okay. No, the both of them are called palm trees, but I, I don't know the actual name of the other one. Okay. There is one that have a lot of leaves and a lot of branches from ground stem up, the upward so that one you you have to be cutting the steps for and then there is one that doesn't have anything you only have uh, leaves up and it's really tall and it's really tall yeah. so that one is palm the, that one is test it tastes like sugar yeah huh? understand and mm. the, the palm kernel you get from that okay you use it to do red oil red oil which they use in cooking food but the other one i'm talking about is uh, different entirely you understand that one you only get palm wine fresh my brother if you take it you are here uh, but but just you don't need to go technical you know mm. we still call all of them palm wine yes <laughs> but sap from that the trees. have yeah, you but taken they don't but they don't have that the other one here okay that tall one no they have the tall one okay they don't, they don't have, have the short one i think is in place. mombasa the tall one you have in mombasa mombasa but mombasa other, do, you guys, do you guys do you guys extract the 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 palm the the palm wine the wine from yes in mombasa they do have you had have you had no i've not you should probably I have I have had it. It tastes it tastes very nice. It, it is very sweet. Yes, but yeah. mate, I take changa. <laughs> yeah, I and I, I, I have always you why should, back in Nigeria. You should, you I should try changa. Do you know changa? No, I don't. Changa is like ninety percent the alcoholic content. Why you take it? Ninety percent. I do you have a death note. It can't be regulated Ch- by changa, anyone. Changa is um is is changa have a smell. It has a test. Is it pleasant? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not that pleasant. But my brother, if you want to get high in the West, you have to take it. <laughs> so if if you if you actually want to drink something local, if it's not going to the club or something. Man, I don't really care. But Changa is a is product like Kai Kai. 
Oh, okay, okay. You have the same, almost the same smell like kai kai that comes from palm wine. Yeah, mm-hmm. pa- uh, kai kai has palm wine, yes. that smell you can't, yes. yeah. Uh-huh. But chang- changai. Changai, changai have small of that smell, but not exactly, but you still perceive. And you can go to a club here in Nairobi with 5,000 bob for you to get drunk. Like for me to get drunk, <coughs> I need, uh, let's say 5,000 and above. In Nairobi. In Nairobi. Mm-hmm. To get drunk. For me to get drunk. Like for me to have a good time. Because you'll need some uh, alcohol, some choma. Uh, maybe you're there with your Shima. your your other partner. Oh, okay. She wants some uh, savanna or something. So the budget is 5,000 and above. Below that, your life is hard. <laughs> but in the village, for me to have a good time, I just need 200 bob. And maybe 200 to spoil the ladies. 400 bob. We forget our names. What would you... What would you spend 200 bob for a lady surely in, the, in 2021 that's a lady in the village you see life in the Hata village kama. you see life in the village like you see they in the village for example in the village if you have a girlfriend you just buy her lotion <laughs> some good lotion some chips and soda and she'll love you forever <laughs> But life in the city is a bit expensive man i don't want, I, I don't want to come from in the city village. you have to pay for uber <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> maybe that woman is coming but from... But you have to pay Listen, for Okada in the village Maybe that woman is coming from Kitengela. <laughs> if I look from... And she's coming here in Kilimani. My application will tell me Kitengela to Kilimani. Right now you have to pay 1500 <laughs> That's transport. <laughs> Just for her to come. That's 1500 Then she tells you, baby, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. You, you you need to buy her some nyamachoma, some chips. Let's say another fifteen hundred. That's three thousand. Yeah. Then alcohol and her fare going back tomorrow. That's around seven thousand. This is the problem. In the village, is... she comes border border. You can carry it forward. <laughs> I'm guessing border border is Okada. <laughs> yeah. It's Okada. Worst case, maybe it's a hundred bob. Worst case. <laughs> You get her some nice and lovely, some Nivea, small, small things. They really appreciate it. And this begs me to ask the question, who is this you've been dating in your village? Hmm? Seriously, Leon. Okay. We know you don't have, you, 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 you have issues and, 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 and you just, you, you're a problem yourself. We know that. But who, is, who are these ladies that you've, you're dating? Who you buy chips and soda in 2021? My moral lesson here is... Women in the village are less expensive compared to women in the city. True or false? Let me, everywhere. Let me ask you, Emmanuel. <clears throat> wow. A lady f- in, in your village, uh, uh, because you sounded off camera, you sounded you're very passionate with dog meat. That's probably what you're going to buy your lady, right? No, Charles. Charles. Uh, Charles. Yeah, you Charles. guys eat dogs in your village. My friend, camera or no camera? <laughs> <laughs> Dog meat is the best meat. Oh my God. Eat. I'm saying it. You better, people can. Better, better will come for your head. You understand? <laughs> because, let me it's, tell you, if you do dog meat choma and have a good grinded pepper with onion blended together, eh? My brother. I can, I can test that. You then you have, you have this palm wine by your side. Oh God. <laughs> Go to a place called Calabar in our country. Who, oh my man. You have dog meat, you have palm wine. You're missing something else then. <laughs> eh? But mine and the dog meat. Then, then, then you, maybe you have a partner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good. Don't, don't knock it. Don't knock. Don't, don't no, knock. Seriously. Don't knock it off until you try it. I mean, most parts in Nigeria don't don't eat dogs. Mm-hmm. Like just a certain <coughs> part. So most of us in the city will be like, ah, no, no, I'm not going to eat dogs. So man. where do you get like you just find like for example here in Nairobi we have a lot of stray dogs. I see them. So how how do you so I see them. Do you like rare dogs? So, like, do you have a place where they just rare dogs, dogs for slaughtering? For, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can, you can kill your dog. <laughs> hey. Hey. I want to ask hey. you a you question. Can. I want to ask you a question. It's just hey. a simple question. How do you come about goats. getting a goat to kill? Okay. Here, mm-hmm. goats are 
and people people have la- livestock is like good livestock right yeah, yeah. and they go to the market to sell it uh-huh. if you want to eat dog you, you go to the market. Go to market and your restaurant and you, there are, you, your you go to the market you see dogs are for sale you buy one so, you go home so in a place we have like dog slaughterhouses there are not so dogs not no, dogs no, you are being dis- no. stop using the words no, no, it's, 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 it's not dog slaughterhouses stop, stop, yes. it's, not it's something like like now you have um you have you you have a market where they say goods chickens and everything livestock like if you you were talking about village uh-huh. you know villages have days of markets uh-huh. they, they this they, they might say um uh-huh. like our place we say oruku is market day nkondoru is ndoru market day so that those days i have a dog i've been rearing i have goat i've been rearing i have chicken i've been rearing i have eggs and uh-huh. i have gary i want to sell i pick them mm-hmm. with the help of maybe one or two person yeah we go to the market And how Somebody do you slaughter it? Okay, so that's, bite that's, you. that's why the problem is. How do you I think that's why it? I have a problem with. Usually when you slaughter it, it's not as... Um, yeah, it's not like... It's, um, it's not as dignified yeah, yeah, as yeah. killing yeah. chicken or something. It's really horrible. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I have not been there to slaughter before, but from the stories I've heard, it's not easy. So for example, when you go to the village and uh, for us what happens here in Kenya, your grandmother can tell you, <laughs> Stop uh, Leon, can you can you bring me that chicken? I want to slaughter it. Mm-hmm. I go after the the chicken I get it with slaughter. Uh-huh. So in let, the, let like, me, let Charles me, get that dog we want to slaughter no, it with dinner. Let me pick then we'll call one or two that, uh, that no, are that so you can chase no, 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 a, a no, dog and not chase it. No, you're not chasing it. You have to call somebody who the dog trust. That's kataska taska 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 taska. Okay, for example, do you know do you know you know if you are doing that the sack on the head and you use a club But if you miss that clause, <laughs> you okay. run for your life. That is, even, <laughs> that, that, is that, that is even different. You know, in our in our in Ibo land, eh, uh-huh. as I am now, if I die, there is a tradition that need to be performed. Which one? Which one? Which my son? Uh-huh. If it's not performed, my son cannot just come to the village and eat anything he sees. Uh-huh. And that tra- that tradition talks about uh, they have to kill me a goat. Okay. A male <laughs> male well male fed. Good. Do that's what I think so, that's okay. Very thick good. Some chickens, maybe that's three okay. or five. That's okay. And a dog. A German shepherd, a good dog. No, no, dog. no. no. And we, let we, me tell you. No, we don't and do, we don't do foreign. We, we, we don't do the, foreign. We do stray dogs. dogs. Not stray no, dogs. No, <laughs> we, we, there are dogs that are in the... Let's just call them no, stray. No, no, no. Don't use the word stray. So it's not straight dogs. We have you dogs. Know. There are dogs here that are indigenous to yes. the country. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We don't use no. Asian. All those ones are uh-huh. fine. Let me tell you something. Nigerian shepherds. Let me tell you something. Not Nigerian shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> leave, 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 leave. Let me tell you something. That dog, uh-huh. that dog is brought, uh-huh. that dog is not slaughtered like this. Uh-huh. It's not being hit anything on the head. How? That dog, the person that will kill it, will be very, very observant uh-huh. and watchful. Because he's going to remove the head once. How? Like this? No. <laughs> the, <laughs> dog, the dog will be there, uh-huh. but he will be held by somebody. Uh-huh. They hold the head, uh-huh. you know, like as if you're drawing a cow. Yeah. You. This one is holding it this side. This one is holding it this side. Uh-huh. So using like a rope or something. Like a rope. So yeah. by the time the dog is shaking the head, the uh-huh. guy is measuring here. Yeah. The neck. So the moment he gets the angle. <laughs> The head is one side, the dog is one side. And like and, and yes, dancing, of, dancing, course, dancing. of course. Of <laughs> course. Now you go, you go straight, and uh, do a very nice pepper soup, you know, and some choma. You know, the thing with uh, with uh, most of you Kenyans is that even the ones in the village is that you people are trying to live the life of of the Western countries. But because we, we don't are, eat dogs, we, it's not about dogs. Even in the we, way are you, not, we, we are not. We are not. Uh, we are not Westerns. Yeah. We are Africans. Yes, but Africa. Yes. Have you, have you ever? There was something I was watching in the in the in um, on the, um, Instagram one day. One guy he measured the population of the world. Mm-hmm. He now measured the population, removing all the species of sea, lands, and everything. Do you know the highest? It's not nine percent. The highest is the highest is Africa. Mm-hmm. The highest. Are you talking about land mass? In the in land mass. La- la- no, la- he la- removed the land mass, okay. and now showed the sign. The highest is Africa, and Africa is where everybody now is coming. But Africa have refused to maintain their culture, bringing in other cultures. 
there was an argument we were doing someday. I don't know if it was you. Uh, I think Emmanuel, I can't remember. Where we were saying, what is the name for Satan in our traditional language? Because we mentioned Satan. Yeah, Satan. yeah. I was saying, is, I, I was saying that most African traditional, traditional religion, religion we don't have a word for Satan. Here, even here in Kenya, like, yeah. we don't have a word. Satan, is, have Satan is foreign. It's, it's so a foreign when it comes concept. to when it comes to African culture, we allow ourselves to be to be reading off of what is ours. But they come here, stole it, and go and sell. But, and keep it in museums. But to be fair, Ken, Kenyan tradition is not to eat. They don't eat dogs. I don't think they eat No, that, that is, I'm not talking okay, about okay. tradition. Okay. Eating dog is not by tradition. It's a choice. In in Nigeria, Yorubas don't eat dogs. So when someone says... Most parts, most parts, most parts don't eat dogs. It's not, some of the parts in Nigeria don't eat dogs. Yeah, the, the dog specialist in Nigeria is a, a river state and a pie bomb. So when women say men are dogs, do you take it personally? <laughs> no. <laughs> because the, the, this is your meal. Leon is, no, that Leon is <laughs> pulling your leg. Don't answer him. I will answer him. Don't answer him. I will answer him. I will answer him. Unless if you are a dog. <laughs> but me, I'm not a dog. You Let me, my concern is, you know, even in some parts of, uh, even if it's a cow, there are some parts of a cow that we don't eat. Or um, let's say chicken. There's some part of a chicken, you like know, the crow, crow, and, yeah, and that we but don't, chicken, we, 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 no, there's something here that the is bile. Usually, yeah, the bile I mean, is very would, bitter. Why would you eat the bile? I mean, even, but, yeah. but in China, they swallow the bile. Okay. Yeah, so my issue is, one. when you're eating a dog, do you um, exclude some... some, some Personally. Part, part, do you part. eat the part that barks? <laughs> <laughs> do you eat the balls? <laughs> you prepare dog bowl I, soup. I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Uh, May I, at least I eat dog. Uh, Charles is the one explaining you. <laughs> no, seriously, Listen, don't, don't knock it off. Dog meat <clears throat> heals malaria. That is what you have to understand. I hey, eat dogs. I'd rather and die. You cannot tell me, and I've missed it because I've, I've not gone. I see a lot of stray year. dogs. I see a lot of stray dogs. I'm fat, big ones. I've been yeah, like, I understand. Man. <laughs> Man. So, Emmanuel, so, you'll be looking at stray dogs in I, Kenya. I look, I look at them like, okay, and then you're like, fair enough. This is like, like some good. If you, if it's like good stuff. If like, no, no, I remember there's a place no, where my, my, my neighbors, uh, uh, my neighbors, uh, Chihuahua went missing. No, nobody. So, I'm, I'm now nobody trying. To, to Chihuahua. Um, no. Mom, Charles, Chihuahua. can you eat Chihuahua? Nah, 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 the meat is one. tender. No, no, that's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. Trust me, eh? No, no, no. Dog is, but, dog but is the question, the question that I'm eating. If you're, if you're kind of surprised we're eating dogs, what do you say about people that eat frogs? People that uh, yeah. eat all those things. I mean, snake. So what, uh, what do you talk? Oh, what do you say about it? it? But frogs are Asia. No, I, I think the food culture in Asia is now the worst. We 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 would be we would be we we could be surprised by, by those other guests. But dogs and people who eat dogs are closer you than know, us than we think. It's you, Charles. Do you, you know, know people eat? My friend, do you I know eat people dog. eat monkeys? Hmm? Yeah, in Congo. Okay, in Congo. I mean, so. But then that's why we get these funny, funny diseases. You know, even God knows why he told us not to eat something. In where, China, where, where in the people because prepare bat I mean, soup. after he, he came. Huh? Why would you even bat eat soup? Bats. Bats. Yeah, some people eat bats. Why would you eat People bats? eat vultures. Why would you eat bats? Why would you eat owls? Why would you eat monkeys? Why would you eat dogs? Meats. Why would you eat snakes? But, but I think also, Matthew, come, to, come no. to realize, for example, in Congo, I, I don't think... You love to eat, but sometimes maybe you're forced because of the. You know, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> I don't think. What's much. the worst meal have you ever? Have you? What's the? What's that one thing you have ever prepared because you had nothing to eat? It mm. pushed you to the wall. I. That's, yeah, a, I case, that's just not a case for me. You just had to be I just regular. Like dogs. I like dog. You just had. You just had to be like. Me, I've, I've had ugali and salt. I'm going to promise you guys one thing. I will travel home. To my country. No, it, 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 and listen, I'm going to make a very good dry dog meat. Oh yes. my goodness. And I will bring it here. I will not tell you until you finish it. The good thing the airport is very secure. So. <laughs> that they will allow it. It's no. dry meat. It's not, it's not fresh. It's yeah. dry meat. Dried meat. Dried, dried meat. meat. That's, that's you carry dry meat. You, you, no, you I feel fry like you should, it. No, I feel like you should tell them. I mean, try it. And if you don't like it, then you... you understand. It will be recorded. We just have... Ah. Guys. Okay. Seriously. 
That's paraphernalia. You will be arrested. For what? For what? My bike is not working, but I feel like it's not what? But I feel like all the good and bad cultural beliefs yeah. were born in Nigeria. That's the that's, good. That is that reeks of prejudice. Eh? <laughs> it's not a compliment, <laughs> and I'm offended. You know, but listen. You know, us growing up. Listen, this this is my honest. Uh, us growing up, we even learned about witchcraft in Nigeria. Yeah, that's weird. Because of the movies, yeah, we had a, a lot of uh, the the Nigerian movie industry was very big okay. in Kenya. So there were there were no witchcraft practices in in Africa in other parts of Africa or in Kenya. So if even if you ask a small if you ask someone, uh, in the village, uh, Nigerian movies, yeah, yeah. witchcraft. Ah, yeah. you, you guys are top notch. But, but 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 do you know that Togo have a very strong witchcraft? Than Nigeria. And that's the problem because for us, it, it, why, when, why is why is why 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 are we trying? Why are you equating your traditional worship? If as, you say as West something? Africa, what's the first nation that comes in your mind? Nigeria, of course. We don't know Togo. We don't know. Uh, we don't know. Maybe it's Nigeria then no, Ghana. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. I'm saying yeah. why do you equate African mm-hmm. tradition? I mean, in our religion, uh, our movies or entertainment, entertainment or whatever, like pop culture, or whatever. We would tend to express some of our beliefs and cultural stuff, which I believe is not unique to only Nigeria. Like turning someone into a chicken. Turning someone into a chicken. Is it not something that... Don't you see that in other parts of Africa? Is it not in Kenya also? Witchcraft and traditional religion worship and whatever. It's in Kenya? Yeah, it's because you consume. You are consumers. Because you consume a lot of our pop cultures. That's why uh-huh. you see these things. Uh-huh. But it's not peculiar to only Nigeria. In Kenya, witchcraft is more on uh, Matt, Matthew's side, where he comes from. <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's present. That's why he doesn't go to the village. Because... You know, Matthew, if he stays in the village for one year, he becomes a madman. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes from the tribe called the Kisses. So Kisses, I'm a lawyer, but Luya, we also have a lot of uh, witchcraft. Uh-huh, but so- them is conk. It's like uh, dry gin. <laughs> then as diluted with the tonic. Can I, can I ask you one thing? What mm. is it? What would you call? What's the meaning of? I mean, what's witchcraft? What is it called in? Your traditional language. Uh, Uchawi. Omolosi. 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 <laughs> yeah. So who gave it the name witchcraft? Which which now makes it look so bad? For us, like for Omolosi, those are guys who run naked at night. We have guys who just run naked. So They're like night witchcraft. runners. Yes, they come to your doorstep, they shit, uh-huh. and they continue <laughs> running. Uh-huh. That's it. I just, I just feel like a lot of our traditional worship <coughs> has been demonized by the Western and whatever. Seriously. Some of them, we just tend to... I mean, if you see me, my, I have my own shrine, my own yeah. personal shrine as a man, where I pay homage to my chi and my ancestral fathers and whatever. Yeah. Because you have been, how would I put it, swayed or influenced by Western culture or whatever, yeah. you equate it as, as, as witchcraft. Meanwhile, I'm just doing, I'm just worshipping, I'm just paying homage, I'm just, it's my own religion. But witchcraft does exist. There are some people who are not happy seeing you succeeding. Well, well, yes. It, for me, it does exist. Yeah, and you could, you could also be Christian. And like for be, us. And you, you could also be Christian and also be terrible. For person. us in the village, you cannot be, you can't give money. You can't give cash to people. Yeah, you can give in Pesa. You can do in Pesa. But the moment you give cash... Like for me, I can't go to the village with my car. Actually, so, I don't. Now you're I even don't. confessing because you and you say you learned witchcraft from Nigeria. That's the one I took personal. Uh-huh. <laughs> you made it look like there was nothing like that in UK. Yeah. But you see, Leon, uh-huh. me, I don't believe in. Um, I usually be telling people I don't believe in those. Uh-huh. There, there is some sort of supernaturalism that I don't believe in. Uh-huh. The first one is that someone can cut off my destiny. Without touching me, without using any medicine on me, without using any, I don't know, whatever. I give myself today out. If if you have those powers that you can come and say, let's say, for instance, uh, make me not become a successful person. Without touching me, you're in your village in Nigeria or in, in your village in Luyaland and you you do all those things i gi- i offer myself a specimen to and me. you see that's why I don't believe always in that touch that something belong something that belongs to you for example someone may find this shirt of yours mm-hmm. it belongs to my what, what is the, the scientific the, explanation the, what, to that this is what is 
giving you problem. Yes. You are still talking about scientific. Which scientific? Are we talking about scientific? Are we talking about science when it comes to witchcraft? Okay, look. These are cultural things. There's no science. Let me excuse me. Let me let me let me let me tell you something. Do you know there is something about the sweat that comes from your body? Mm-hmm. Sweat. W- what? Your sweat. W- what is it? Your sweat signifies your. You, it's a heat from your body, which brings something. It, sweat comes from the inside. Yes, so from the inside. It's water from your body that touches your clothes. Yeah. And this cloth is something you wear every time. Yeah. Your pocket wallet is where you put your money every time, mm-hmm. and you remove it and give wholeheartedly mm-hmm. with your hand, right? Mm-hmm. Food that you eat, it goes inside to give you good condition i mean, I mean you you feel healthy right yeah. these are three major things you can be caught with my friend if somebody took your shirt or your picture they can keep you stranded for your life uh, no. okay do you go, do you do you give handouts in the village me i do hmm? i do hmm? i do you give money i do to everyone to any to anyone who i feel like i want to give money i can give them and, and that's why you're like this you know you can't see it but as you can come see on, you're not okay man. Huh? come on there are some things mad no not everyone is happy because you're succeeding you can be happy or unhappy because of matthew is not do you know uh, that do you know that do you know there's witchcraft in even the church you go yeah do you know there's witchcraft in the church you go okay. witchcraft if you come to define witchcraft tell me what is witchcraft Give me a definition of witchcraft. Me, I would rather check the dictionary meaning of it because okay, can we go, go but I do believe I feel like it has its own definition but I do we believe tend, we tend though to interchange my own problem is we tend to use it interchangeably like we ch- use use it in place of African traditional yes. religion. Thank you. Which that I way. find really really annoying. Witchcraft about- is the practice of magic especially black magic. That's 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 the, that's the, the bias. That is But that. there is no witchcraft in the US. Really? That is voodoo. Huh? Really? Who told you? Witchcraft. Re- really? Why not? In the Europe. Yes. Yes. Really? Huh? <laughs> what? You, you know, these, you think these people did not have their own indigenous, you, know, he, you think they don't have their own indigenous cultural or traditional uh, practice before uh, before the advent of of, of the what is the, what, what, own, are, what are those own. what is those things that the um the native americans usually do? Ooh, 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 ooh. All those native and all those incantations they do. What what are those things? For me, this those, those are their tradition, right? Like so our own now is witchcraft. Like yes, theirs are now tradition. You see, like in America, for example, you have like the Red Indians. They are very cultural and very so traditional. So what do they do? What's that their culture? You see, but you see, there are some guys in America. Uh, in terms of tribes, you know, do we have tribes? Tribes in America? Tribes. We have Native American. We have the Native American, like the Red Indians. Yes. But you see, for us here, uh, our cultural beliefs, it's very ancest. It's as ancestral. Like uh, the reason why we have a lot of black magic here in uh, in Africa, I'll speak about my community. It's more to do with our ancestors, because it's like it's more to it's like a family tree. You have your great grand grandparents, then it trickles down to the grandsons, and you see along along the way a lot of things are happening. Yeah. Some guys are successful, some guys are not successful. Some guys are going mad, some guys are dropping out from schools, some guys are dying, and there's all this blame game. My kids are not successful because of this family. And that at now attracts a lot of black money. I think it's the mindset. You choose to believe in it, you choose to think about it, then most definitely it's going to happen. Because if I choose to believe that, oh, I'm thinking Emmanuel does not want me to succeed, and so I build it up in my head that Emmanuel has done something to me, it will stick in my head. But if I choose to ignore I him and like, do I my, like, I feel like we will not be able to capture the whole true. Um, mis- Let's tell mystery, our viewers if mystery, they the whole mystery of of witchcraft, witchcraft and everything. We, we, we are not that. We don't have that range to talk about the. Whole it mystery. is. It is also. It is also something that I wanted to bring to your attention. Who has an idea? I, I, I believe you've read or heard or even heard in the news of this thing that um when you probably having sex with someone else who is not your partner your partner can sort of use voodoo or witchcrafty and 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 um your your thing gets stuck inside have you ever heard of that listen it's, to it's, me it's actually a medical condition that one have you ever heard about that thing, let me tell you something there is um this thing in yoruba land yeah if i noticed my wife is cheating yeah i would bring that thing do what i want to do keep it under the carpet there my wife will cross it once she cross it i will remove it 
Any day she goes to sleep with a man, they yeah. get stuck until I come. It has happened numerously in Nigeria. Have you ever witnessed as it I yourself? I have. I have seen. So it has happened to you? Yeah, not me. <laughs> well, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that really happened to me. It has happened. I've witnessed it. Understand? So yeah, that yeah. one I've seen. Yeah. It's not like uh, I was told uh -huh. that it happens and all those stuff. No. There are there are also this one that um, you 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 would do when an arm robber comes to your house. They will start sweeping. Instead of stealing, they start sweeping. So a lot of things happen. You understand? Yeah. But then there is different between tradition, yeah. culture, yeah. and witchcraft. Yeah. Witchcraft, there are black magics. There are the things, there are the ones that are not magic. It's just tradition. If you watch at the tradition of our people, our forefathers, my friend, even what the Bible is teaching, for those of us that read the Bible and for those of you that believe so much in the Bible, even what the Bible is teaching, they have thought about it. They have laid it down as a rule to guide the community, to guide everything. Everything we are doing now is going on cycles. You know, the funny thing is, sorry, I won't even touch on Charles, but what are with you? When you say Africa, black magic and, and witchcraft, our forefathers who were against any form of witchcraft. Yes. You were ostracized, you were, you were cast away from the community if you used certain black magic, magic to kill or do other things. Mm -hmm. Same way in medieval Europe. In Europe, you claim they don't have any culture of witchcraft. Yeah, they, they also killed witchcraft, which, which people who were believed to be witches, uh -huh. especially women, were burnt in the stake, were killed. Do you know the church in Europe were killing people who were believed to be witchcraft? Any form of magic, you were killed, you were considered a witch. Why is... If you used, sorry, if you used your left, the left hand also was equ equated to, with, to witchcraft. And they were killed too. They were burnt on the stake. Where do you think the word burnt on the stake so came from? If I was in Europe right now, I could be having dead. I'm also left-handed too. <laughs> but you know one thing about guys who are left handed, they're very successful. Well, I'm, no, I'm, 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 yeah, Leo, Kwanza, you, you're not successful. Everyone on this panel agrees. Who okay, <laughs> let's raise our hands. Who thinks Leon is successful? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how do you define success? How do you define success? It, uh, it could be anything else, but it doesn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like this at all at all. Uh, okay, guys, thank you very much for joining us. The name of the show is um, The Fours. Uh, they call me Matthew Christian. And um, we continue to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you can see, we're having very informative conversations and things that really, really people shy about, including the most important one, that is success. That is extremely, extremely relative. Am I, okay. The guy on my left, the two other gentlemen that we're sitting with, I consider them successful okay. by a huge margin. Mm -hmm. But the guy on my left, anyhow, you were telling me it's a medical condition, something that I asked you. Um, regarding um, um, where, when, yeah, this when, when you're having sex and... When he gets stuck, yeah. This he gets this, stuck this, inside. Yeah, I think it's the over-excitement of... of of the woman where it just grips the stuff. You, you go to the hospital and, and there's a way they do it. So I, I know that there might be cases of spiritual, but you, you can check it. There's a word for it. I've forgotten, but it's a medical condition. A lot of people go to the hospital, ER to, to, to get it done or so. So not the one in your balance. Uh, well, I'm not, that's what I'm saying Thank that you. I'm not going to touch on the uh, black okay. magic and whatever, oh. but there's a medical, I've condition never, to, I, that, to I that, have yeah. not it just gets stuck. I think it's over excited. That. That, um, that's what I'm telling you. It's now. called uh, vagina or something. It's called uh, penis captivus. Cap captivus yeah. is an occurrence during sexual intercourse when the muscles of the vagina clamp yeah. so, down on the penis much more firmly than usual, making it impossible for the penis to be withdrawn from the vagina. So, oh. Matthew, okay, can you please, give watch, my, please give me my flowers. Watch. Give me my flowers. Give me my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I need it now. <laughs> Leon is about to... You know, to when, when you're too informed about a certain topic, <laughs> two chance, chances are maybe it has ever happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Penis Captivas. <laughs> Emmanuel. Uh, tell us, how was the experience, Manu? I mean, if you guessed... Sorry, there's a little, little, little. I've not, not had it before, but I, I imagine that if it happens and you can, I mean, just stay there for a while. You know, the, <laughs> if there's one thing uh, in my life 
uh, I can't live without is my manhood. Is your what? Manhood. <coughs> oh, okay, okay. Leave alone the money. <laughs> Leave alone the money. You can take the money. <laughs> Leave alone the cars. You can take the cars. <laughs> I mean, but you cannot stand living without I you are born, can't stand you are without living without the manhood <laughs> because sometimes you know even us men sometimes you might go maybe two days without uh, an erection you get worried no that's that's true though I've, I've, I've called a doctor because of that that's true though were you excited and you, you didn't get your stuff they, they said maybe I was a bit stressed did you try were you trying to to it, have an erection were you trying no, no. to have uh, you know sometimes when you wake up in the morning uh This that's some... the funny thing. The funny the... thing is that sorry I'm bringing on that out fact mm. thing is that mm. you were sleeping. Yes. And when you wake up you don't see it. You don't notice it's flaccid already, but mm. you did get when you were sleeping. Mm-hmm. You do, you just didn't Did you it. set your mind to have it? How do you set your mind to get morning wood? So I know for me, uh like you know there's a, there's a way there's a way you there's a way your body there's you know there's what we call body adaptations. Mm. For example, if you are used to taking long call every day at 1 p.m it will get at 1 pm and it will start calling true or false That's there's a true. way you train your body yes, yes, yes. yes so mine in the morning i need to feel some movements i know this man is okay <laughs> so i was saying i can live without the cars i can live without the money i can live without the yeah, without my celebrity fame but <laughs> <laughs> I can't live without my manhood. Funny enough, it's because it's what will you enjoy? It's understandable because a lot of men tie their successes to just one thing. But that's women. why we are working hard. Look that's at just, it. Just, Our success is it's most men, not, it, not mo- all of us. Yeah, majority of us like uh, Matthew, do you tie your success to to um my success to to women? Do you, do you everything you are trying to achieve? No, to your manhood. Is, is, Mine is, is, is not it motivated to, to is it is it is it uh, motivated by by women, sex and whatever? No. Oh, you don't get the question. No. No, no, mine is not women. What do you mean what motivation I do you like what you motivation should. are you talking about? I like mean, success or Yeah, your success, whatever you're trying to achieve right now. No, I, mean, I do believe like women are a very instrumental. So um, if that thing is taken away from you. Ah, you won't work hard. Why are you even working hard? <laughs> no. To, to enjoy I don't I, Oh, I get your question. No, <laughs> you get I don't. I don't. Like for me it's so my if, pivot. If, if you have it if it stops working If it stops uh, working, you, it's okay. There, is other, there are other things. There's like good food. No, Matthew. Other things that could motivate Matthew you. Matthew is lying. Well, you know, Just, one thing about this... this, this, Just, this if you have your man <laughs> taken away from you, man, I mean man, literally. Will you be motivated will to Will you be motivated to do anything? If I have my... One who you your man would, Leon, your you PP, if you have it cut off, will you be able to Choked. do it? No, they, but the the urge will be there, but there is nothing to get the motivation. Yes, oh, that, you bring you something interesting. It's, it's the pivot. I think it's the no. pivot of my success. Like um, probably Charles did not get to understand the question. What Leon is, uh, what Emmanuel is asking is, if for instance tomorrow morning you wake up and you don't have your manhood, your other life, does it? Do you think you'll have a reason to live? I'm a, I'm a, uh, if your honest, if, if your honest. manhood is taken I, away I, I from have, you it's... I have to be honest yes I will have a reason to live but I will not live the life I yes want. yes it's, it's okay but is it tied is your whole life tied to your manhood not really uh, you can't continue if I, like if, I, if I already have children you have kids what is my, I guess, what is my I problem it's a simple question yes no, 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 they no, have no. kids I already have kids no. so they, what's my problem my problem enjoy- is not to 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 adjust to that kind of life there's some enjoyment in life How do you adjust to that? That needs you to, that to, even even money money won't give you that kind of pleasure. Oh. And that's why if no, you look at our forefathers they were very happy with all yeah. that money. Just use your mouth please. Just yeah. use your mouth. I mean, yeah. you can still give. <laughs> Leon you are lying. Either way, okay. You you have something to say. <laughs> you're lying. But for me I think my success you're, everything. You're literally telling us you're working for your penis right now. Yes, this is where my kids are. This oh is my, my legacy. Oh my goodness. Anyhow, <laughs> here's here's the thing. Huh? <laughs> Let me ask you. Um actually, let's <laughs> even leave. <laughs> you you clearly go down and sit and think you will find that you're not making sense. Ah, maybe I'm making. You're not making sense. You're becoming senseless as uh-huh. days go by and it's a worrying trend. Okay, what are you working for? No, We I'm working for every other good health. Uh-huh. Yeah. You see even I'm working thing, for good health I'm working for my kids I'm working for my parents I'm working for my own success 
really like the, the, my uh, penis comes me comes I'm, number I don't know 30 me I'm working for this body nothing else guys it's uh, me to bring to your attention uh, right now we have a new variant of uh, covid that they are saying is extremely mild but it's coming in uh, so fast it's from south africa and it's called no, omicron uh, it, uh, I don't think you and Kenya recorded our first case today. I don't think you would say it's from South Africans. Uh, I, I don't think you say it's from South Africa. It's, or, it was, it's originated. No, it mutated. No, can we say that because no, we've been having no, this no, virus? No, you won't. They they actually discovered it, but apparently, according to recent um, um, uh, news or whatever information, yeah, it, it had already started in some parts of Europe. So I mean. Saying it originated from South Africa mm. is a bit unfair mm, mm, mm. because they were the ones that were actually truthful and were doing mm. the testing as well. But the recent um, news and whatever, it had already it started way, 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 way before the South Africans um, brought it up. So, so you see the way they say, uh, like the coronavirus started from China. What do you got to say about that? I mean, they admitted to it. Um, China did admit to it. So, South Africa is. So, so did South Africa. So did South Africa. Huh? South Africa so, did not admit. They, did, they not, did. No, they didn't. They did. No, they didn't. The president did. No. Either way, <laughs> it is here. Today, Wait. today we recorded our first case. A Kenyan. Yeah. What's your view about that? Symptoms. Mild. Just general flu. Mild. Been coughing for the last one week. Yo, can you give me that hug today? <laughs> I, I, I think the, 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 the virus has mutated to... To this level where <coughs> now the symptoms are mild and i feel like it, it from now on it to be easy to fight and maybe i think it's not a cause of alarm it's not, seriously it's yeah. not we dealt with the we dealt with the we dealt with the father covid 19 uh-huh. and right now there's a lot of there's a lot of progress in terms of vaccine yeah that is being uh, there's a lot of awareness which is also a good thing so for me just put on your mask like okay what what will we do it's already here what's the best we can do just being safe please, are you vaccinated we don't want another lockdown please huh? yeah are you vaccinated I think that's my fear who's vaccinated you are you i am covered by the blood of jesus <laughs> <laughs> seriously Leon, just get a minute and become serious are you but vaccinated is it, emmanuel is it is it mandatory have you taken the vaccine yeah Charles, are you vaccinated? I took Johnson's yeah, and Johnson's. I have, I have ma- vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. Well, I, which, well, one, which one? Which vaccine did you take? The, uh, not the Johnson to Johnson, Johnson and Johnson. Well, the other one. Well, they gave you a polio vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know the Pfizer. name. Pfizer. 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 <laughs> Pfizer. Yeah, not a polio. Oh, Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Johnson's and Johnson. Fully vaccinated. <coughs> Just one dose, you're good. One dose. Yeah. yeah, Matthew, I'm beginning to look at you somehow. Yeah. This is your cough and uh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's COVID or it's just an STD? <laughs> <laughs> no, Matthew has been coughing, and he had runny nose. I think last week from yeah. last week, and I'm beginning to suspect uh-huh. that you may have caught the virus. So can you give me the hug you wanted to give me <laughs> last time? <laughs> and if there's anybody <laughs> who's supposed to have caught it, Leona. <laughs> for me, my immune system, my immune system, ah, it's one of the best. <laughs> Without it's... you, I've lived. I'm not that certain that. <laughs> that. Yeah. But I think it's important for our viewers to know that you can. You're supposed to be vaccinated. Yeah, go, and, um, go to the nearest if public go health to center. the nearest um, public health center, facility. Churches. Right now, we have a lot of centers yeah. or facilities doing this yeah. vaccination. And the beauty of it all is that it's a free service. You don't need to pay anything. You know, initially when this thing came in, you know, people started. Um, it it was a paid service. Oh, really? It, yeah. It was so now it's free. Just walk into any uh, health facility and get your vaccine. It the 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 Ministry of Health and you know the World Health Organization is very clear. It does not make you not to you know get the virus or whatever, but it boosts your immunity, your ability to fight it. to fight the virus, and and your chances of survival are going to be higher. So all of us, let's walk into um, just. You see anywhere you haven't gotten it, just go get it and let's 
make the world a better place by not spreading this thing. We, the last thing everyone wants, and we all agree on this table, is another lockdown. Yeah, really. Uh, another we, lockdown. we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, moving on swiftly, it's um, Christmas is around the corner. I feel like we did have this conversation. Um, but yeah, birthday boy Leon Ocholi, um, Christmas. Traveling to the village, of course. You've missed your village girlfriends who you buy soda and chips. I know, right? Yeah, you know, in the village, uh, when I have a thousand bob, it can take me for two months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm riding with you. If you have any spare space. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, we, I'll take you, Manuel. Our place is like it's the best. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm actually going to. You know, yeah. that's the only place in Kakamega we have an equatorial rainforest. What does, in in, what in does Kenya. Mean? Like it's very super fertile. The weather is good. Is it cold? Is uh, it's, it not, cold? it's not that cold. Okay. But also there are places super green, Kisi. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, you need to visit Kisi, man. Yeah, I feel like I, I think food is cheap. One fifty bob. You have your lasagna. You have your chicken. <laughs> I'm not you really have much your of pizza. a food person, but I'm. I'm, I'm if you if you go if you're riding with me, you have to be a food person. Yeah, I'm not I eat from food. Nairobi to Kakamega. No, I'm I'm now into my fitness and. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, your 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 well-being. Yeah, my fitness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kindly ignore this. But the guy. women and the the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, we have very very beautiful women. I'm serious. I'm really really serious because I'm going to have it recorded. Okay. I'll show to the viewers. Act, look, actually, hey. actually, be ready because we have very nice matacos. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is matako? Matako means it's like taco the, hamburger. Okay, okay good. Oh, okay, okay. You know, yeah. Matako, eh? it means a good, <laughs> wait, 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 good, wait. a very nice, good ass. Mm. Ah, you said burger. Big <laughs> <laughs> tacos, you know tacos in the US? Tacos. That is, that is, they are trying, but those ones that are heavy, you know? <laughs> so, you, know that, you know what I mean? Ah, of course not. Heavy, heavy. Biggie, biggie, biggie. You need a warning sign <laughs> so near you to your bedroom. <laughs> Work in progress. <laughs> you know those warning signs. Sleep on the floor. Emmanuel, you're into big, big things, I'm right? Too big. I'm a, I'm a big man. I'm yeah. a big lad. Yeah. <laughs> I like to say so you like them big? Yes, of course. I, 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 okay. I'm not ashamed. I mean, I, I like them big. Um, big, curvy. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily curvy, I mean. Hey, you mentioned creamy the other time. Why? You did. Why? Why? But you did. Creamy. <laughs> it's explain. a yes or no. Explain. It's just a yes or creamy, no. Creamy, creamy, oh, creamy. Like, explain to the viewers. <laughs> I explained to the viewers. You know about no, creamy. Uh, let, me quote what, let me quote what Emmanuel please, said. Please, please. It's chill. <laughs> let, <laughs> <laughs> like, creamy <laughs> yogurts are good. Yeah, I mean, you got yeah, uh, creamy. Creamy. Why are you denying it? No, I mean, go on. <laughs> Do you love your tea with cream on top? No. <laughs> really? No. Okay. But I don't mind the other cream. It's okay. The other one is fine. Okay. Yeah. So, Emmanuel... <laughs> if you want to say this story, which I'm going to deny, it's your word against mine. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't start from the beginning, beginning. There's, there's a point where you... I don't think we have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should omit, omit the beginning, beginning. No. Yeah. Emmanuel said, uh, Tiwa Savage is... No, not. I didn't. I ah, didn't. Oh, no, no. no, I didn't say that. We need filters. <laughs> Please. It's okay, Kev is there. It's going to filter it. But no, but you said creamy stuff is good. I mean, I'm, do you I, like a creamy as well? I mean, I mean, oh, we are like men. Yeah, men, men. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm not the only one who likes a creamy um, activity. <laughs> a creamy, um, go and fort, a creamy criminal. Yeah, criminal. Yeah, criminal. <laughs> a creamy void. A that, criminal, whatever. that makes you a criminal. That's what it yeah. makes me. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Creamy, creamy, criminal is good. Eh? Am I the only one who likes it? Leo, you like a creamy? Teat. <clears throat> do you have those teat? Those, Just uh, say, do you it. like it creamy? Stop do you like it creamy? Yes Stop or no? <laughs> do you like it creamy? You. Oh, yeah, diabetic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? For, come on, you're an old man. Nobody's going to cane you after this. Just do you like, do you it, like creamy? it creamy? Yes, yes or, or no? no? It depends. Me, I love yeah. everything. <laughs> For me, Charles, I told you, it's all about the Mr. vibe. Mr. Charles, you like it creamy? My friend, it depends on what you mean by creamy. <laughs> really, we have, we, have to, we have to spell it out. Yeah, Seriously, no, no, Charles. There, there, are, there are different things that are creamy. Everything is creamy. But what do you mean? What are you exactly <laughs> asking me if I like creamy? Do I like chocolate? Do yes, I like it's creamy. creamy. Chocolate? Oreo do is I like, creamy. Uh, 
the ice cream that is creamy. It's creamy. Uh, what do you <laughs> These want? viewers are to disregard, uh, Mr. <laughs> no, you <laughs> just tell me. For me, if you want, if you no, ask, okay, me. let me break it down. Okay, break it down. When you're having sex, okay, with your significant other who, or whoever yes. that you're having sex with, yeah. uh, lots of excitement from the lady uh-huh. uh, generates some ladies become. The excitement is characterized by cream down there. Oh, okay. Most, now, uh, now, now you yes. are saying something. Now I yes. can understand. Of That's course, we, you wouldn't like to have uh, uh, to moon to the lady. Yeah. Oh, you finish after having <laughs> say after you know having some good time. You decide that the lady come out starting to um, have itchy. <laughs> like, so it's good to be creamy. So that at least uh, <laughs> you both will enjoy it. She will enjoy it. The uh, law of natural I justice. Is, uh, I don't want me about you. We want it excess. Uh, no, I don't. I, it depends, my friend. Listen, it, it comes natural. <laughs> no, 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 no. The creamy aspect comes natural. Yeah. There are some ladies you might be there. You, there, there won't be any cream. Is that what you're telling yourself? That, not what I'm telling Is myself. What it's what is. I believe. Understand when you when you are when you are digging it when in the right spots, <laughs> man. The creamy will come out in full force. You understand? But and, and that creamy does not just come. It comes because there is an excitement from inside well, of I like her. To correct you. I would like to correct. Correct me. There's Let a me. scientific from stuff. the stomach. There's, there's, a, there's a scientific. scientific, scientific your 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 wait, for your dog, wait, not let, my let dog. Me, let me explain <laughs> something. No, I, I, let me explain something. And you might check. You, you, can, you can check it out. I'm not checking anything. No, 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 somebody that wrote it. I'm telling you my own experience, and you are telling me scientific. <laughs> <laughs> in, in terms of health, health stuff, I feel like I, I think they said something about um, when it's extremely creamy it means the woman might be might be suffering from yeast infection. You might you, you might have to check it out. Mm, okay. I when it's extremely that. creamy, yeah, creamy, so we have a reason it's, to get yeah, scared it's, it's, yeah, as well. It's a symptom. It's a sign of uh, a yeast infection. But I don't care. I really don't care. Sour so, doctor love. I feel like how old are you, man? You've asked this question. Really. I I think you've gone through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> From penis captivas <laughs> to, to, to creamy. To creamy. <laughs> <laughs> All this section will be cut off. <laughs> I have a but it, things, yeah, things have really changed. I remember back then um, when you used to buy, when you used to go buy condoms uh, in a shop. Uh, like five years, four years. Uh, I don't, you know, you don't relate because you don't use. So, do you even know the price? How much condoms are retailing? You're right so now? stupid. You're so I know the stupid. last time you bought condoms were retailing at thirty shillings. Because things I'm a married changed. guy now. I don't things use have those things. So, uh, things were for you to go and buy a packet of condoms, and uh, we had specific shops which were selling condoms. Yeah. So and these shops used to be full, uh, like uh, every time there's someone being at. That the attendant is actually attending to someone, so you had to wait. <laughs> for say, what do you want to buy? Say, please answer him first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer, answer him first. Or sometimes you're there, the, the shop is now clear. Then you're like, I want this. That's then the, that's th- the point three guys <laughs> walking. <laughs> That's it. That, that's the situation. That's the situation where you wouldn't even mind. You wouldn't mind if someone, if someone were to jump. And you know, I used to. <laughs> you wouldn't mind. I used to see guys buying condoms in a supermarket. Without any restraint or, or shame, or yes, I use like you're doing your shopping and you're also picking condoms. Yeah, I, I feel like it's. I think it's. Uh, like it's now there's really awareness, nobody. Awareness. No, back then okay. it was a it was okay. a big thing, but nowadays you can do that. Charles, where do you get yours from? Red Cross. <laughs> My what? Your condoms. I don't use condom because I'm a married man. Yeah, oh, no. Why, why do you guys make it look like? Why will what I use condom? So it's such an ignorant state. It's not yeah. an yeah. ignorant state. Condom, so condom, 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 condom is good. Is not, it's good for prevention. Prevention of for, of some diseases. Prevention of uh, uh, unwanted <laughs> pregnancy. <laughs> prevention of a lot of things yeah. sexually. Uh, okay, okay, but fine. for me, I how do you expect me to have condom in my pocket? <laughs> But you know some married guys are using this. That is some. Charles, don't, don't, don't have. <laughs> You're a dry I fryer. You dry fryer. My friend, leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, I was trying to point, what, what, I was, what I was trying to point out is that it doesn't mean if you are married, you, might, you will not use condom. There are times when family planning. And, yes, and, and, depending and on the kind of pam- family planning <coughs> you have. Yeah. You understand? There are some family plannings you might have which allows you to use yeah. condom. Yeah. And that is the, the avenue for cheating husband to have a lot of condom around. 
which your wife cannot know how many you have. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah. But if you have a family planning and you've been used to bone to bone, flesh to flesh, my friend, what will you be doing with condom? It's a boat to you boat. can't even you can't even give it to your um to you can't even give your wife excuse. Oh, I bought it for my friend. Which friend? <laughs> no, okay. You doesn't your friend doesn't know the road to buy. You know, there was a day I was at the hospital, yeah. um, this Kitengela hospital medical here with the condoms. So, no, yeah. you, you, you <laughs> cool down. <laughs> I was there, so I saw this pack of condom free, and you attempted. I was like. Let me take it and go and give to people that I know. I say, but on this, on the other note, I say, if I take this condom now, ha! And you forget. You know that's one of the biggest and well, the most difficult cases you'll ever come across. Thank you. Being found with a condom, uh, and let alone the whole packet, you've used one. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big case. Ah. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, I think we gotta wrap it up. Oh, it's been a very Oma. Um, what do you guys think? Any other agenda? Not for today. Use condoms. Use condoms. That's what I was about to say. Use condoms. <laughs> Use your protection. Yeah. So. Gear up. Gear up. Umbrella. <laughs> we call it umbrella. <laughs> we call it umbrella. <sighs> okay, guys. Very it's, informative. It's dogs too. Okay. Dog meat. Try it. Very nice meat. Yeah, try it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna try dog meat. I'm sorry. And Charles, if you try to import dog meat via the Kenyan airport, you will be arrested, bro. Unfortunately, that's part of the Unfortunately, the um, custom or whoever that is going to search the luggage, I will tell him it's a fried meat. He can take some. So I don't think, and he will see me eating it. So I can what only you, be arrested you, what do you if, think I'm, dog meat if I'm like? bringing in something. It's poisonous. not meat. It tastes like goat meat. For God, dog meat is a very good, nice, lovely meat. Protein. That's ah. a lot of protein. You understand? Okay, like you people, now, there are some fish in the in the in the sea. You people still don't eat. They don't eat snail. Most of them don't eat. Snail. You don't eat snail. Imagine. Why? Why? What is your problem? And I met a cuckoo girl who doesn't eat snail. Not only cuckoo girl, even uh, they are even the Westerners. Is, the this, Westerners, is, it, they don't is eat snail. this is why Nigerians are very loud because you know, the dog barks. Wow. You know how you guys are talking. The problem. Wow. The problem you have is. Please that. go to his social media and the, attack him. The problem. Please go there, attack him, send foul message, threaten his life, <laughs> threaten his life, reassure him. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Let me tell you, we don't bark, uh, we talk. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we talk and we, we... But Nigerians are very loud. Not only Nigerians. We, we Everybody ah, you is loud. You guys are loud. Because we don't adhere to the British and to the European world. and We are we. Mm -hmm. But that the good thing, right. you guys are loud and friendly. Yeah. Thank you. I can be talking with my brother now. You think we want to fight. We think we want to fight. Right? You're bucking. Ah. I want him to hear what I'm saying. He wants to hear. He wants me to hear what he says. So we are, we are trying to argue. With he you. has to be loud enough. And everybody. Are, you, are, you, are your women also this loud? It depends the one you meet. We are not loud. I don't, I don't even know loud. loud. I'm I'm not, well, hmm? I, I don't even know loud. You are talking. About. I don't know loud. I'm only talking. I don't know. The what problem is you talk loud. too low. Africans or other part, you talk uh -huh. too low. You so are, so even in the bedroom, you're just this loud. How? I, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> ego, ego, ego. <laughs> oh my but you guys need to come here with the Nigerian women yeah, in, in, uh, link us up with our sisters from West Africa yeah, we're willing to do that if you're capable of um, you're man enough or to what do you mean you're man with, enough with, I mean man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of Nigerians, Nigerian women around here now. So I mean, next time you're coming here with one, <coughs> I, I, I would. Huh? Can you find Tonto DK? <laughs> Leon, you're being please, very. I just you're just your, you're just being very ambitious. Media, just attack it, please. But I love Tonto DK. You know, she used to be my crush. Really? Yeah. Well, I've even DM'd her a lot of times. We've been talking on Instagram. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> this is rock bottom. <laughs> you should not even say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should have made this public. I remember you have made public. <laughs> when I used to, st uh, when, I, when I was in Kakamega, I used to text Kim Kardashian on Instagram. Really? What would you say? Yeah. What would you, what, what? I'm a poor African. <laughs> Please, when you come visit, send me money. <laughs> the gentleman still does. Funny enough. 
<laughs> he still does up to Soma, today. Soma, I don't, so I don't, I don't disbelieve he, that. He's, he's busy in the inbox. Hi, 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 hi himself. I think we should just dedicate a day and we just look at people's DMs. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we sanitize yeah. these streets. No, we shouldn't have said beforehand. Everybody will go there and clean. clean. We'll be shocked. Uh, Charles and on uh, Patience you know. Ozoko's DM. And we probably <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I know you've just turned 69. <laughs> so, so Leo, how does this work? You go to their DM and you just send them a private message. Yeah. Has it ever worked for? Have, have you ever received a reply? Uh, for celebrities or for regular? I, I, I mean regular. I feel like he does it to anybody. Any, <laughs> I want to see the success. I, I used to. I used to. <laughs> You know when those days when we used to have cyber cafes? Wow. You know there was a time yeah, in yeah. Kenya but if Leon, you used to no. own a cyber cafe, yeah. you, you you used to be very influential. But Leon, you still do it. I know I don't do it. You still DM these people. Huh? You still do. Who? It's written on your face. <laughs> Who? You're a pervert. You have never <laughs> met a motherfucking pervert like yourself. <laughs> Guys, let me ask you a question before we wrap it up. Which is the biggest room in a house, a home, a studio, or... Anything, which is the biggest room in anything. It's just a refresh, me a refresher me. question. Ebu, Ebu, expound on that. Just a room. You have a house. Uh-huh. Which is the biggest room? Biggest in terms You of have life. a car. Which is the biggest room in a car or in a bottle, in a anything, in a phone, in life? My friend, it's an aptitude question. Answer it, or if you don't know, it's also yeah. honorable to for say some, you don't know. For yeah. some weird reason, reasons, I don't like questions that are meant to exercise your... Yeah, identity. exactly. And that's the, that's, that's, that's the intention of it all. I think no one has understood like your question here. I don't like it. I really don't. I are you speaking so. English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can can English you start with answering the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Let us... I mean, Which is the biggest room? Yes. That's the only thing. In I a want. house. It depends on the house. Oh, okay. The biggest room. In anything. Um, in a studio. In life. Biggest room. Um, yeah. Room. It's, it's a redo. It's Remember, it's it's also very honorable to say redo. you it's, don't know. It's a redo. Um, yeah. Rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap it at that, that no, point. The answer. Yeah, I'm You're answering like, it. Huh? I'm answering it. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's wrap it at that particular point. The biggest room in anything, in all that you're trying to do, is room for improvement. Oh, uh, please. It's a wrap. Actually, <laughs> don't, don't, don't cut it. Don't cut it. No, Actually, don't cut it, please. That's, this is one of the most <laughs> stupid <laughs> things I've ever had in <laughs> like, Region 1. Please don't associate Adi, this to, our, to, Adi, to the show. It is room Adi, for Adi, improvement. Adi, the biggest room. What's in the anything. biggest room? Yes. It's like, and it, it sounds pretentious. Really, and, sounds pretentious. And you're waiting for something very inspiration. Room for improvement. Yes, you can improve on your fake, house. Fake you can deep. improve. It's like me. Your okay, phone. I have a question. I have a question. Ask. What's the biggest food? Uh-huh. Food. Yeah. Food for thought. Food for thought. So what's that? <laughs> 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 it's a wrap, guys, from the falls. I have been your host, Matthew Christian. Emmanuel General Zod. <laughs> Signing out. Leo. Uh, Charles. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Bless.